Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, April the 6th, 2023. It is currently 4.49 p.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from the Theology Central Studio located here in Abilene, Texas, and something doesn't appear to be right here. Um, well, let me just explain what's going on. We are currently... Why is that only broadcasting on one side? It's not in stereo. Something is up. Okay, well, I thought we had fixed this problem. It, it appears in trying to fix a different problem. We haven't. Let me explain what's going on. We got a new MacBook Pro. Very grateful for it. Love it. I can see that it would be probably very uh, beneficial for us to be able to use the MacBook Pro and everything that we're doing and all of our broadcasting and in everything. Um, just from a purely streaming perspective, right? It seems to have a much more stable connection to the internet. There's not the wild fluctuation in the uh, streaming bit rate. It seems consistent. It seems stable. So that would possibly remove all of those problems of audio cutting out and we're having, uh, you know, internet connections, uh, problems, internet connection problems. I think this would fix all of that. Everything else about it seems wonderful. It seems great. However, it is a MacBook. And so some of those things that I guess you would probably say is more friendly, more user friendly that you would find, say, on a PC or a, you know, a, a laptop. Um, well, that, they're not available on uh, the MacBook. And so things from uh, oh, we, we broadcast live on Spreaker. Well, the studio setup is not near as friendly and as easy to utilize as it is um, using uh, a, 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 on the MacBook. It's not near as user friendly as it is using the laptop. The MacBook, it's yeah, I mean, it gives you very few options on what you can do. I think right now we're having a, a possible problem on Spreaker. I think it probably sounds weird right now. In fact, let me let me go listen to it really quick. Probably sounds weird. I, I thought we had the problem all fixed, but clearly we don't. See, the problem on Spreaker. I think it probably sounds weird right now. In fact, no, maybe not. Who knows? Um, it, 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 it shows me only broadcasting from one channel um, instead of two. So I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, I don't know what is wrong, but. Yeah, something doesn't seem right. So we'll have to we'll have to look into that and figure out why. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but the most important thing when we went live, I know you probably noticed something was missing. We have no way to play now. If I'm just broadcasting on Spreaker, we can play the intro. But to broadcast on Sermon uh, Sermons 2.0 and the Church One app, we can't play the intro. And you say, well, who cares about the intro? Well, I, I agree. The intro is not that big a deal. But guess what? I can't do any sermon reviews. I can't play any audio clips from anything. And that's, uh, that's something I absolutely love to do. So that's like, that's a massive deal breaker. So we've got to figure out, we got to figure out why we cannot do that right now. Um, if I'm, if I'm just broadcasting on Spreaker, if I'm just broadcasting on Spreaker right now, you should be able to hear this on Spreaker. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just fix it? Did I just fix the problem? Oh, there's no way. There's no way I fixed the problem. There is no way I just fixed the problem. <laughs> wait, wait. What just happened? What just happened? 
Okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna review. I'm gonna review some uh, some more audio. Something. Hang, hang on. Something is weird. I'm, I'm gonna pull up. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna go back to files. I'm gonna go to let's see. There's downloads. Where? 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 I don't see it. I don't see our uh, files. Where did I put them? Um, if I go to recents. It's not there. Downloads. Okay. Well, I don't know where. I don't know where it went. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go here and use this file. I'm gonna use this file. All right. Something is going on. All right. Let me listen. Let me listen. This message comes from NPR sponsor. Okay. Wait. Let's let's move that up a little bit so we get past the uh, commercial. Cloud services, you've got options. That's because VMware delivers the multi cloud choice, security, and control you need to accelerate innovation, deliver great apps, and drive business forward. VMware, the smarter way to cloud. Learn more at VMware.com. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. President Biden will travel to the United Kingdom and Ireland next week. During his trip, Biden will address Ireland's parliament. As NPR's Franco Ordonez explains, the president. That, ladies and gentlemen, we may have completely fixed the problem. And I don't even know what I've done. Um, I Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, there we go. Okay, no, there we go. Okay. I think we fixed the problem and I don't really know what I have done. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. I see here. I'm going to chat. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Well, well, someone just said good job. I don't know. I don't know how that's a good job. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done. Uh, oh, wait. It's like a small delay or overlap. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And the, and the sound, there's like a small delay or an overlap. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I need, I need to hear from everyone t- talking right now. All right. So, um, I need to know, okay. If anyone can help me right now, first I need to, um, okay. Like echoing. All right. Is the echoing happening on Spreaker or is it happening on Church One? Where is the echo happening? Where is the echo happening? Okay. All right. Someone just says, I don't, I don't hear that. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to go listen. I'm going to go listen. I'm going to Spreaker really quick. I'm going to go to Spreaker. It's always hard for me to hear it when I'm listening live, when I'm, when I'm live on the air, because I'm, I'm trying to talk. And so then I turn the, I have to stop talking and then it, I, I hear the echo. Uh, oh, in the audio clip. Okay. Yes. And Spreaker in the audio clip. All right. Hang on. So. I, when I'm when I'm live on the air, so it's not when I'm talking; it's when I'm playing the audio clip. All right, so I'm hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna mute. All right, the reverb though is not showing up when I'm talking. I got to make sure I'm a hundred percent clear on that. There is no reverb when I'm talking on the Spreaker app. Right? Yes, the clip. Okay, good, good, good. I want to make sure because I don't want to start messing with things and destroy. I don't know how I just fixed the, I don't know how I just fixed the problem. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Now I'm going to play the clip. All right. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to turn off the mic. And it will also mark the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. The White House says President Biden will first visit Belfast in Northern Ireland to quote, mark the tremendous progress since the signing of the U.S. brokered agreement. Signed on Good Friday. Going on. Okay. Oh, that fixed it? Oh, that did. Okay. All right. That sounds perfect now. Okay. Here's here's the thing. All right. So just so that people know what's going on. In the olden days, in the olden days, back when I was using a Dell laptop that was dying, um, for me to play the audio um, on... Spreaker, I had to mute the mic manually. Like there's a button right in front of me and I press to mute it. On a MacBook Pro, 
you don't mute the mic by pressing it. There's a button um, that says off or on in the Spreaker software. So I have to like press the button off. That kills the mic. Today, on April 10th, 1998, the landmark agreement largely ended 30 years of sectarian violence over Northern Ireland. Then I turn the mic back on. Now, uh, the only problem is, I think that's going to cause problems on church one, though. So I think I'm going to have to mute both. So hang on. I'm going to mute both and you tell me what happens. All right. Uh, here we go. So first, I'm going to mute both. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to mute both. Here we go. I'm going to turn it off here. So was that, was there any uh, echoing there? Was there any echoing there? Now I'm going to, I'm going to sermons 2.0 really quick. Tell me if someone tells me if there's any echoing there. All right, here we go. I'm going to go listen to that. All right. So everybody says it sounds great. Okay. So, so now I know I just have to mute. I have to mute it on the mic and I have to mute it there. There'll probably be some little mess ups there, but I think I can get used to that. I hope I can. I just got to figure out why, um, why the mic is only showing is broadcasting on one. Uh, when I, when I'm done listening, when I'm done, I'm going to go back and listen to this recording on Spreaker and, and, uh, and see if it's only going to come from one speaker. If so, we've, I've got a problem and I don't, I, my, my fear is if I mess with anything right now, I'm going to mess it up, mess this up because I don't have any clue how I fixed it. Here's what happened. Nothing was working. I was at the end of my rope. <laughs> I went downstairs. I had some Chick-fil-A, right? Because, you know, I'm, I'm spiritual, right? And then I walked back upstairs. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go live to give everyone an update. And then in the middle of that, all of a sudden the audio starts playing on OBS and I did not change anything. <laughs> I didn't touch any. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. Oh, okay. Someone just said they checked both left and right channels. Okay. Thank you. 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 That's awesome. I don't know why it's, I'm not going to change anything. I'm, I'm afraid to touch it. I'm afraid to turn it off. I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid to breathe. I'm afraid to ever leave because I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Wow. This is bizarre. This is crazy, 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 crazy. It is so crazy. I, I want where I wonder where. Um, see, I don't think I have it in. No, I don't have. Uh, oh, that would be bad. Okay, all right. Uh, MacBook Pro is trying to have me start playing files from uh, Apple Music. That would get me in copyright violation in about three point two seconds. Okay, so I'm just gonna say no. Um, okay. I'm going to cancel that. Okay. No, I don't want to go to my music library. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look at where I put my, I thought I had downloaded all of my, uh, files. I think I absolutely mess that up. Let me see here. Let me go to my downloads. Uh, oh, wait. I think I have it right here. Oh, let's do this. Let's play this and see what happens. I'm going to turn this off. All right. After taking what feels like a long detour on looking at baptism in the early church than baptism in the scriptures. We're going to return to law and gospel tonight. 
try to get that back on track and see if we can move forward to finishing law and gospel. I know we still have a ways to go, but as we move forward, so, you know, I think we all know so far that a lot of this, there is a lot of repetition in some of the things that we have covered in law and gospel, and it is repetitive. I'm not a fan of it being repetitive. However, if you look at the questions I get, emails I get, it's like some. All right. I think uh, sounds great. Uh, yeah. Someone is saying they set up a uh, hot keys to mute the mic and OBS. Look, there's there's probably a lot of things I could do in OBS that would probably make my life easier. But here's my <laughs> philosophy at the moment. I don't even know how I currently have OBS receiving the sound from Spreaker. I don't. Like, and and on the laptop, it's the easiest thing in the world in OBS. You go to audio settings, you go to desktop audio, you enable, and boom, you're good to go. Anything you play on your desktop, that sound comes directly into OBS. You do it on a MacBook Pro, and you go to audio settings, and you go to desktop audio, you can't enable it. It's disabled. It will not work. So you have to find this weird workaround to try to get the audio into OBS. And I, I tried every, I mean, I, I look, I've watched 50 YouTube videos. I, I, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, yeah. You're using a PC. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm using a MacBook Pro right now. And, and, and look, as much as I love this, I mean, look, I, I don't, I want this to work because I don't want to have to send this back. You don't even understand. If I have to send this back, I'm, I'm going to the tallest building in Abilene and jumping off because I, I love this thing. This thing is beautiful. This thing is awesome. My my main concern now is what happens when we get to the church and I plug it into the sound system there. Oh, I've got bad feelings. I've got bad, bad feelings. I got really bad feelings there. Uh, it, it, would, it would be almost like, I wonder if I could come up with another like six or seven hundred dollars and just buy another laptop, a PC laptop just for the church and then use the, the Mac for all the broadcasting here. I know that's ridiculous, but I almost like if I could come up with another six or seven hundred dollars, I would just buy another Dell laptop and just use that for the church. Because that that seems to work much better for the church. And then I could keep the Mac for this because I think we've just resolved all of the problems for this. But I'm telling you, like right now, I'm looking under OBS. I'm in OBS and I'm looking at the streaming number. This is crazy. Okay, on the laptop, the streaming bit rate, it will go from 400 down to like 298. And it's in a constant flux. Just fluctuating, fluctuating. And that's why we were getting some of those weird disconnects where we're, we're disconnecting for just like two minutes. But on the MacBook, it goes to 340 and it doesn't move. There's no fluctuation at all. It's the most secure, stable, secure, uh, streaming bit rate I've ever seen. So like, I, I can't get rid of the, I cannot get rid of the MacBook Pro. So I don't know, like maybe I'm thinking, I know that's a ridiculous idea, but like just get a, a laptop that, you know, just like another Dell laptop that's basic and simple. And then just le- use that for the church. Just use that for the church. That's all it's used for. And then everything else would be right here. But I am going to take the Mac to church and see. I'm just afraid when I plug it in, oh, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to change all the settings. Oh, boy. That's what I'm worried. But um, so I, I don't know. I don't. My, my choices are limited because we got to make sure we can stream from the church. And I just don't want to have to. Right now, I'm afraid to do anything. I'm afraid to go off the air. Okay, I am just going to sit here and broadcast from now till 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 for I know what I am going to do here. Oh, oh yeah, whatever. I know everything works together for good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, this is working together for my good currently. Okay, my good as my own personal desires. Okay. All right. Uh, where hey, I'm going to try to find my other uh. My other uh, audio, let's see here. Here it is. I'm going to download that. 
maybe. Okay, there it down. Oh, I love the way the MacBook downloads things. That is so, so awesome. Okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to Files. Does anybody remember this? Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good afternoon, everyone. We're coming to you live from the Theology Central studio in Abilene, Texas on this Thursday, April the 6th, 2023 at 5, 10 p.m. Central Time, where I think possibly for some unknown reason... Everything is working correctly. Someone like someone actually remembers that. It feels like the last time I did an actual podcast was, I don't know, I was 17 years of age. It, it, it seems like it was forever. Someone says it sounds awesome. See, now that's what I see. This is what I was hoping. I was hoping I could just go live. This is the way I envisioned it, right? That I would hook up the MacBook Pro and then I would just go live. And immediately I would get emails going. I have never heard a podcast sound so good in my entire life. What are you using? What, what changed? What, what happened to your voice? You actually sound perfect. And I could be like, it's the MacBook Pro because if Apple does it, you know, it's better, but, um, it hasn't quite worked out that way. We've had a hollow sound. We've had a distant sound. We've had reverb. We've had a lot of things going on, but I think we have fixed everything now. Uh, obviously, Apple can't make me sound any better. So e even Apple cannot fix that imperfection. Um, I'm going to write, I'm going to write Apple and go, look, you had an opportunity. You had an opportunity to take a mediocre, average, poor podcaster and make him sound professional, and you could not pull it off even after we spent all of this money. We're very unhappy, and we want our money back, but we don't want to get—, get we don't, we're not going to send back on the MacBook Pro. We just want the money back so then I can buy a cheap laptop for the church. Okay, that's, that's what I want. I don't know. I, 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 I know that sounds like a crazy idea, but it may be. It may be the idea. Uh, maybe we just keep using the cheap laptop for the church. Um, I, 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 I'm, I want to drive to the church right now and try it, but say I'm afraid that I'm going to mess up these settings. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to grab, I'm going to stop broadcasting. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm going to write down every setting that I can find. <laughs> and then if I change something and it goes wrong, I'm going to try to then return to the settings that I, as I have them right now, I, it is, it, I do, I can, how can it work? How can it not work all day? I change literally nothing and I come back and it works. Maybe Apple just fixes it. Maybe Apple just is like, hey, you just kind of tell us what you want and we'll take it from there. Maybe Apple just like, you know, we'll fix it for them. Maybe, okay. Maybe that's why they charge so much, right? Hey, you don't know what you're doing? We'll, we'll take care of it, okay? Someone says, don't change it. Okay, well, I, uh, well, I, I, I. That's the fear. If I take it to the church, I'm going to have to change it. It's a completely different setup. Now, the way, the way it works on the laptop, the only change I have to make is inside Spreaker, right? Because um, on a laptop in Spreaker, there's a little drop-down menu, and it just you just choose which mic. That's not an option. <laughs> That's not an option uh, on a MacBook. So I don't know what's going to happen. But, but I, I think the one thing is, is the only thing I won't, the only thing I, I, I don't, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to plug it in at church and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm scared for that too. Very scared for that. But that's why I'm going to write down every setting so that if it all blows up, right? If it all blows up, if it all goes horribly wrong, I don't have, if, if, if we get something like this uh, to happen, question did it uh, did anyone hear that did anyone hear that I, I need to know were you able to hear that sound effect 
I'm, I'm, I'm curious, did the sound effects work? All right. If the sound effects don't work, I don't care. But did any, was anybody able to hear the sound effect? Oh, yes. Okay, good. Did it, did it sound good? It sounds really good on coming from this. Uh, okay, good. All right. So sound effects work. They work well. All right. Oh, they work well. Okay, now, see, now you're going to have me. All right, now I'm going to get all excited. <laughs> All right. Now, the only problem, I got to get used to muting two things. <laughs> I got to press the button and then I have to. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, um, that's going to take me a minute to get used to. That's going to take me a minute. to get. I'm going to try it one more time here. OK, I'm going to go. Okay, so, uh, I, uh, yeah, that had the re, okay, that had the reverb. Yeah, it has the re, okay, just, just so that you know, if I don't get the mic, if I don't get everything muted, it's going to get the reverb. So let me, let me, I'll show you. I'm going to play an effect without the mics muted, right? I'm going to play, um, I'll just play this. Okay, now I'm going to play the same effect with everything muted. All right, you should be able to see the difference, okay? Okay, yeah, all right, okay, so good, all right. Yes, if I forget to mute it anything, uh, no, I do not. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> I've got I've got my very nice pair of Audio Technica headphones MX50. Oh, I love these things. I love my headphones. Okay. That that are supposed to be just for music. I do have them here because I was trying to monitor things with headphones, uh but now uh uh but now I I I I everything is is I'm is working just the way I had it set up on the laptop. So I'm not going to monitor with headphones. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to have it set up here. If I was monitoring with headphones, I probably could avoid that. But again, I'm not going to change any other settings. I'm not going to change any other settings. Um, so, but all I got to do is just get used to um, hitting this button and, and, and coming back. It's, I mean, the, it, it's, it, just, it just takes about a half a second extra. I just got with the uh, with the touchpad. I just got to press off, and then I got to just reach up in front of me and press the button on the microphone. And the only reason, well, what we need to do, I need someone to go to church one. If someone can go to church one, um, if someone can switch to church one right now, if someone if, so, if someone uh, can go to church one. I need someone to go to church one. And here's what I'm going to do. I am not going to mute the physical mic. I'm only going to mute the mic on Spreaker. I know what's going to happen. Never mind. I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. Okay. Someone just said they'll switch. All right. Um, I think I know what's going to happen. If I don't mute the physical mic on church one, you're going to get the reverb. On church one, you're going to get the reverb because I can look here in OBS. Where's OBS? I've lost OBS. Here it is. All right. Um, yeah. If Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, I already know what's going to happen. I already know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try it right here. I'm going to play, I'm just going to play our intro. I'm just going to. Looking at our world oh, from a theological. Stop. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. All right. I'm going to mute the mic in Spreaker, but the physical mic will not be muted. Meaning in, uh, on the Church One app in OBS, you're going to get the sound effects and you're going to hear the microphone still on. And so you're going to get the reverb. So here we go. I'm going to mute it in Spreaker. 
Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. All right. So yeah, I tested it and yeah, no question. No question. You get serious reverb. So I have to mute both. I have to mute both. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I have to mute both. I wonder, I wonder, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had the reverb. Okay. I'm going to try, I'm going to try a different test. I'm not going to hit the mute button and Spreaker in the software, I'm just going to mute the physical mic. I'm, I'm going to see something. I'm just going to mute the physical mic, and I'm going to play that again. And those listening on Spreaker, tell me if it has reverb. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Automatically starts playing. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to just mute the physical mic. I am not going to hit mute in the software Tell me if you get the reverb on Spreaker. Here we go. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. All right. Did you get the reverb there? Did you get the reverb there? Did you get the reverb there? That's what I need to know. When I played that right there in Spreaker, did you get the reverb? Oh, you got the reverb. Ah, oh, man. That, that's trash. All right. Okay. So what I need to do is this. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. All right. It, it, look, um, that's the, I mean, that's a minor thing. It's just a minor thing. I'm not going to worry about it. It just takes just a little extra. And it's just got, I got to remind myself. I got to make sure both are on, both are on, both are on. The good thing is, is the size of this screen on this MacBook Pro is big enough that I could see it literally three blocks away. So, um, so I, I won't have any problem seeing it. So there, there'll be no problem there. So I think we're, I think, I think we've got all the problems fixed. I really do. I, ladies and gentlemen, I think I can, I think we could do, uh, we could re- do a sermon review, I think. So, um, I'm going to check. I'm going to, I'm going to end everything, check everything, listen to everything, see how everything sounds. I guess, I guess the question is volume loud enough. Is the volume loud enough? All right. Is the volume loud enough for, for the uh, all the audio clips? Is the audio loud enough for me talking? That that's what we need to know. All right. All right. Someone said hooray. Okay. Good. I I I'll say hooray in a couple of hours from now. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Someone said volume is good. All right. Awesome. All right, that's good. One person says volume is good. Everyone else is currently tallying their tallying their votes. All right. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have to take this all the way to the Supreme Court. We can just get a tally here in a minute. Is the volume good for intros, for audio, for audio, and for me talking? Volume is good in. Uh, okay, good. Volume is good in uh, church audio. For voice and audio. Okay. I, I know I'm going to get an email from someone going, it's too quiet or it, it's too loud. And I, I, I look, I try to, I try to appease uh, everyone. I really try. The too loud ones drive me crazy because I'm like, just turn down your volume. But I know what they're saying. When it gets too loud, you get some, it, it starts sounding, um, well, we, we did, we did a test earlier today 
And someone was able to point out, no, 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 no. When you go that loud, you get, you get it's a hollow, of, kind of a, a, a hollow effect. It, it just doesn't sound right. And the minute I pull the volume back, everybody's like, oh, there, it sounds good. So too loud, you get the negative things. And so you're trying to find that perfect balance. I think we've got a pretty good perfect balance right now. I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. I think we're at 25% in the MacBook Pro volume. And then we are 1.8 in the OBS volume. And then here's the weird thing about Spreaker on the MacBook Pro. (laughs) There is no volume control. (laughs) There is no volume control in Spreaker. So for to get Spreaker right, I have to utilize, guess what? The MacBook Pro volume. Well, guess what? That then impacts Sermons uh, sermons uh, 2.0 and Church 1. But yeah, used to, in uh, like on a laptop, you can just go into the Spreaker software and I can just lo- manually lower the volume on my mic. And it's just, it's so weird. All right. Someone says perfect, that it's perfect. Oh, if I've reached, if I, look, if my podcast has now reached the level of perfection, I'm putting, I'm putting everything behind a paywall. I'm putting everything. I'm going to put everything. I'm only going to do one minute previews. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do like, you just heard a one minute preview of a perfect podcast. If you would like to hear the rest of it, you need to chart, you need to pay $15.99. Okay, no, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But I mean, if it's perfect, I mean, why wouldn't I, right? There's a lots of non-perfect podcasts who charge money. I'm going to do it for, our, okay. All right. See, now you can, now I feel much better, but I'm just nervous, 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 nervous. Okay. I got a pencil, right? <laughs> I got a pencil. I got a paper. I'm going to transcribe all of the settings. Now, the problem is the minute I write down the settings, I will never be able to read them again because no one can read my handwriting, okay? No one. I can't. No one can, all right? So, um, but I am going to write them all down. I may have to type them up and save them in notes, and then I can uh, do so. I can't believe, I just don't know what happened. That is the most bizarre thing is to be, Live on the air. Um, okay, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, that is very nice of someone to say it's all sounded very professional. And to the person, um, I still will be answering. Uh, I've got to answer the, the question you asked. Uh, take pictures of the settings. Now, why would I do something so simple? Why would I? Why would I take a simple approach like taking pictures when I could just write them all down and then f- not be able to read them and then go through a complete panic when I don't remember what the setting was and then we have to go through hours and hours of live broadcast to try to figure out the right settings? No, I'm joking. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say for Bible study exercise this week is I need a PDF file of all of the settings for the MacBook Pro. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I need everyone to create a PDF file of the MacBook Pro settings for the Theology Central podcast. That's what I need. Do you think? I, I don't know. I don't know if people would be uh, happy with that or not. Okay. All right. No, no, nobody. Well, one person's laughing because they probably know they're not going to make the PDF file. The people who probably would make the PDF file are not currently laughing. Okay. All right. Yes. Someone is working on our baptism PDF, and which is good. All right. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think. I just, I feel like, I feel like the minute I hit stop, it's going to stop working. But here comes the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? You'll have to tune in next week to find out. Okay, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to have to end it on a cliffhanger because I don't know what's going to happen. But you won't have to wait till next week because here's what's going to happen.
If I end this broadcast and then all of the, everything stops working, all you're going to have to do is you're going to hear screaming. It's going to sound like an explosion. The earth is going to shake and people are going to be like, oh, is it, we're having an earthquake? And just like, no, that's in Texas. Someone's losing their minds because their MacBook Pro settings changed. Okay. All right. But that's, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, because I'm really, really, really nervous. Okay, and I'm going to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for, for first of all, thanks to everyone helping. Okay, uh, will there be reverb? There'll be lots of reverb. There'll be lots of reverb and lots of cowbell. Okay, because I'm in Texas. All right. So, all right. So, someone keeps telling me to take the pictures. Why would they want me to take such an easy way out? What is wrong? Don't, don't you know if it's not difficult, it's not right? Okay, no, all right. Yeah, I think I may do that. But um, we're going to stop. I want to thank everyone for helping me out. Everyone who, uh, who, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I got this. I, I didn't, I don't have this since I didn't fix it. Like, I, I, that's why I have no confidence. I, did, I didn't even fix it. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know what is happening here, right? I see what I think happened is, since I haven't slept, I think I, I basically had a seizure and I'm currently dreaming. See, this is what I'm currently unconscious. I'm probably laying in the kitchen floor, broken dishes all around me. I'm probably bleeding out and I'm just in a dream, dreaming that this is all working. But the reality is I'm going to wake up and then, well, probably in the hospital. And then finally, when I get out of the hospital, I'm going to come home and go, oh, it's going to and it's not going to work. Right. This is one of those episodes when I, when you get to the end of the episode, when you get to the end of the TV show or the movie, you find out the person was dead the whole time or the person was dreaming, right? So either we're going to find out that I'm dead and so you're not going to hear another live broadcast or I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming. So we'll find out in our next adventure-filled episode of the Theology Central podcast. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, that's a hey my theory is more than reasonable and it's reasonable because come on that's that's some good storytelling right there all right thanks for listening everyone have a great day god bless